Oh, man. All right, Mello. First questions come from Eric Gunderson with the Associated Press. Hey, uh, Mello, uh, just a couple uh, – it's a two-part question, I guess. Uh, their bench was pretty loud, and they were talking a lot, and it seemed like you were really kind of relishing that a little bit and talking back at them. And then also, compared to some of the other teams, it seemed like they were a lot louder than a lot of other teams in the league uh, with what they were doing on the bench. They was, I mean, they, they were just bringing the energy. They was bringing the energy for their team. And, you know, the, I, I actually thought their bench was doing a great job of just, you know, being loud and, and you know, making noise and cheering their team on. It wasn't so much uh, talking towards us. They was just doing what they do to support their own team. It's two Next parts to that question. Yeah, well, how did you, res I mean, how did you, you, you seem to enjoy that. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's it's fun. Of course, you're gonna hear it, you know, even more when there's no fans and it's, it's it's quiet in the in the, in the arena. But you you live for those moments. You know, you 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 want that that pressure on you. You want to make those. It's nothing like making shots uh, in front of the the opposing team bench as they screaming at you, as they yelling at you. So it felt good. Um, but you know, I, I actually thought that they did a great job of, of just trying to keep keep themselves in the game and you know, energy and, you know, on the court, off the court. Uh, it, was, it was a great, it was a great job for them. Next question is coming from Dwight James with NBC Sports Northwest. Well, you talked before about how comfortable you are late in games, being in those situations. You had a couple of big baskets, but you also blocked a shot. And, and I'm wondering how good does that feel for a guy who gets wrapped for his defense once in a while? And, and I get wrapped for that? Yeah, once in a while, I've heard it. I've heard it, just maybe not recently. I'm sure you've heard it. I'm sure you've heard it, right? Um, no, I mean, again, it's it's it was one of those games. Um, you know, your instincts kick in, your your your, your IQ kicks in. Um, you know, you you just want to be there for the, for your guys and for the team and whatever it calls for on, on the defensive end. It, it it took for me to you know make that block and get a rebound and get a steal. And then on the offensive end, it, it 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 was called for me to make that shot and make some shots and you know down the stretch. So for me, honestly, it's it's whatever is called for me on, on on that particular night tonight. That it, it was a night for me to you know make plays on both ends. Next question is coming from Casey Holdall with Trailblazers.com. Carmelo, uh, you you went one of seven in the first half and then five of seven in the second half. At this point in your career, do you even think about starting slowly and not shooting well? Like, does that have any effect on how you play later in the game at all? And why or why not? I've been doing this for 18 years, Casey. Uh, you know, it's it's shoot is shoot at the end of the day. And, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a rhythm guy. I'm a rhythm type of guy. Um, when you when you don't have rhythm, you got to figure out ways how to, you know, how to find the rhythm. And tonight... It was just me getting and getting involved in other ways in in the, in the basketball game to find my rhythm. Um, <clears throat> in the first half, my shot just felt a little felt a little strong. I felt it on my release. I felt it as I was catching the ball, as I was shooting, and I just needed to dial back a little bit and, and, and adjust that. In the second half, I was you know relaxed and um, shot shot felt good. You know, I was able to get to my spot. Um, you know, raise over the defender, and then you know when they double team Dame and double team CJ. Those guys found me, and you know, uh, Covington found me on 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 that on that last three. Um, I thought he did a great job of, of switching it up instead of popping. He rolled, you know, drew the defenders and you know drew the defenders to him, and he made a great play. And it, it was just up to me to 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 make another great play after that. Speaking of which, too, what do you think of CJ's, CJ's winner there? That's what he do. I mean, that, that's what he do. I'm not. That's that's what he do. You know, you put the ball in his hands, he make a play. It's on him to make a make him miss a shot. I don't think anybody else is going to make him, uh, you know, not not let him get to his spot. He's going to get to his spot. He's going to raise, and that's stuff that he works on every single day. Next question is coming from Jason Quick with the Athletic. Mello, kind of piggybacking on uh, the CJ stuff. W when he plays at this high a level, what do you think that means for your team, or, or what that does for your team? It gives us a, 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 a totally different dynamic. Uh, I mean, we, we I think you all seen CJ over the years. You've been here with him. 
Um, I've seen them from a, you know from a, from a opposing team and playing against them, but now being here and just seeing a, he raised his level um, from when I first got here up until now, and it's it's fun to watch. It's fun to be a part of, and when he gets it going, he gets it going. Is 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 nobody better? Can you elaborate a little bit on on how he's improved since you've been here? His game. He's 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 getting older. He's getting wiser. He's getting smarter. Picking his spots in the game. Uh, he's he's a very intelligent basketball player. He has a high IQ on 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 the basketball court. He know what works for him, and he know what doesn't work for him. Uh, and, and we don't we don't box him in. We let him we let him go, and you see that. Yeah. Thanks. Next question is coming from Sean Hyken with Bleacher Report. Uh, Melo, just you know, <laughs> looking at what's gone on in the league over the last couple of days with all the games getting postponed and players testing positive what's your comfort level at this point or your you know level of worry with kind of just how the season is going so far it's going right it's it's we don't we don't know what's going to happen you know our, our season is day to day it is not like we can look forward to next week games and you know a certain road trip like we we have to focus on the next day and and, and getting through this day um we going through all of you know the proper protocols and the proper channels to stay safe and some guys are still, you know, coming up with it. And what we're dealing with is serious. You know, it's, 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 very, it's very serious. It's, it's bigger than uh, us. It's bigger than basketball. It's bigger than the NBA. And, you know, I, I do think the NBA is doing a great job of trying to contain, you know, what's happening and control it. But it's just some things that's just out of our control. And we, we, we got to adjust to it. We got to adapt to it. Do you think the league should consider maybe pausing for a week just to get it under control or – I don't know. Sorry, Sean. Cut you off. I, I, I heard you, Sean, but I, I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, it's a it's a case by case uh, basis. We don't we don't know what's going to happen. Um, we, you only can control like your surroundings and what happens with, with your team and your organization. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate. It's crazy times. It's it's I don't even know what else to say about it. It's, it's, it's hard times. But at the end of the day, we still get to go out there and play basketball. But yeah, of course you, you know, you have some teams who got to go out there and play with five or six guys, seven guys. That's hard to do, you know, because the guy's health is is most important. So if they can control that, if you only got to play with if you only can play with six or seven guys, then they, I think the game should be canceled. You know, I think they should have an opportunity to get their, you know, wrap their arms around the situation and what's happening and tracing and COVID testing. And, so we don't know. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. We just got to adapt to it. All right, thanks, Melo. Thank you. We got CJ coming up. Oh. Thanks, Mel.